at the Fine Arts Society on London's Bond Street, the second of these TEFAF talks. This morning we're going to be talking about contemporary art and traditional art with contemporary artists Rob and Nick Carter and with Kate Bryan of the Fine Arts Society. We're keeping her in a very uncomfortable position. Yeah. It was such an awkward position. Making a debut of these works at TAFAF is the perfect place. Not only do you have all the museum connoisseurs there, but you've got a really good mix of knowledgeable collectors who go to the fair every year to see the very best treasure from 400 years ago, but they're also seeing the very best in terms of the most dramatic, exciting contemporary art being produced. Our work's always been a hybrid of loads of different mediums. Rob's background is fine art photography and I studied art history and fine art at Goldsmiths. Mm. Um, and that's why really our work, you can never really place it in one particular slot. It's always been a mix of photographic, paint, um, sculptural work. And, but it's been great doing this series of work because it's kind of embraced all of those of those I think one of the most successful things that these works have done is create a really good intersection between old master connoisseurship and contemporary new media art. It's wonderful looking at a figure and you can see her chest rising and falling and you get this sensation of real-time activity with the foot twitching or the hand moving or even the eyes opening which is a really special moment but also the time of day changes quite quickly actually compared to some of the other more transitional works. It's only two hours 15 minutes so you only really need to spend five or ten minutes with it and actually you'll be in a completely different part of the day. Originally we, we heard this statistic that uh, the average viewer at a museum looks at a painting for between four and six seconds and we were fascinated by this but also slightly disappointed. I think we're all guilty of walking past paintings and not giving them enough time and what we're trying to do is make people engage with the picture and re-look and examine closer and hopefully for for that they will be rewarded with a bit of activity within the painting. We wanted to echo that, you know, that was their reality in that day, to try that incredible, trying to, you know, emulate nature and paint those exquisite paintings that are so convincing as real, um, real pieces of nature. So this is what we thought, this is our reality now. It's sometimes um, asked how the original artists would have responded to these works. And I think um, they'd be thrilled that their works were still relevant and actually that Robert Nick Carter have been able to develop what they were trying to do, which is create the most sensational version of reality possible at that time into a new version of reality now. And it's thrilling to think about what might happen in future generations looking back at Robert Nick Carter's work. I think what the joy of today's TEFAF talk was that we had the artists who had made these really wonderful, exciting works. We had the works on the wall moving and that idea that we're in the presence of something very new but also that has an appeal to a more traditional audience.